Hello friends, welcome to our channel Banking Digits. In today's video, we are going to learn about MT103 Swift messages and essential aspects of this vital communication tool that facilitates seamless global transactions. Today, we are going to know about what is MT103, what exactly does MT103 stand for, some of the key components of MT103 message, the structure and specific fields of MT103 Swift with a sample message format, benefits of using MT103 Swift messages, when uh, MT103 Swifts are commonly used, and uh, future developments in MT103 Swift message. So let's get started. So uh, first, let's know what is MT103. It is widely used message format in the financial industry developed by Swift, uh, full form of Swift is Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, uh, which enables banks to uh, securely exchange payment instructions globally. Now, let's know what exactly does uh, MT103 stand for. MT103 represents the standard format for a single credit trans transfer. Here, the single credit transfer means this message instruction can only be given uh, for a single customer credit. Now, next is it contains uh, various fields that provide information, uh, important information about the payment transaction. This message consists of a series of alphanumeric characters that convey specific details related to the payment, such as the sender and receiver bank information, the amount to be transferred, the currency, and any additional instructions. Now, we will discuss some of the key components of MT103 message. The MT103 message structure follows a specific format to ensure consistent communication between financial institutions. To transmit uh, the MT103 suite message, financial institutions utilize the secure SWIFT network. Uh, only banks and financial institutions have access to this uh, SWIFT network. Now, this network ensures the confidentiality and integrity of the information transmitted, protecting it from unauthorized access or tampering. Messages sent through this SWIFT network are encrypted and authenticated and providing a high level of security for sensitive financial data. Upon receiving the MT103 message, the beneficiary institution processes the payment and credits the fund to the recipient's account. The beneficiary is then notified of the incoming payment and allowing them to which allows them to reconcile their records and initiate any necessary actions. Now, let's understand the structure and specific fields of MT103 Swift message. Look at the sample MT103 format here. Sender bank details like bank name, address and SWIFT code will be mentioned here. Similarly, receiver bank details will be mentioned here. Now, here again you will find uh, SWIFT codes of sender and receiver bank along with some uh, numeric value. Don't get confused here. These are system generated numbers which helps to track the payment throughout the entire process from initiation to completion. It also helps both sender and recipients to trace the message. Here you will find the date of transmission of the message. Next field is field 20 which is used for sender bank transaction reference number. Next field is uh, 23B. Here, payment type is mentioned. In this field, it is written CRED, which stands for credit. 
means uh, uh, recipients will uh, get a credit of this uh, fund this uh, message next field is field uh, 32a which is for value date currency and amount please read the date here as 28 june 2023 it is always mentioned in this format which is yymmdd now next field is uh, 50k uh, which is for ordering customer here account number and name will be mentioned this is the account number of the sender and this is the name of the sender and this is uh, address of the sender now next field is 52a here correspondent bank of beneficiary bank will be mentioned now next field is 57a this field stands for account with institution receiver bank swift code or big code will be mentioned here here beneficiary bank details will be generally mentioned means beneficiary is maintaining account with this bank only next field is field 59 beneficiary account number name and beneficiary address will be mentioned here now that we understand the structure of mt103 let's explore why it holds such importance in the international payments some of the benefits of using mt103 swift messages are firstly mt103 messages ensure reliable and secure transmission of payment instructions between banks worldwide this standardized format minimizes error and enhances efficiency in processing transactions secondly mt103 provides comprehensive payment details reducing ambiguity and streamlining reconciliation process for both sending and receiving banks now we should also know when mt103 swifts are commonly used as it is written here mt103 messages are extensively utilized in various scenarios such as cross border wire trans transfers international trade settlements and corporate payments their seamless integration into banking systems simplifies and accelerates uh, financial operations across uh, borders now let's know what are the future developments in mt103 swift message as technology continues to advance the financial industry is constantly evolving we can expect further automation and digitization of mt103 processes leading to first faster and more secure transactions emerging technologies such as blockchain and distributed ledger systems may also play a significant role in enhancing the efficiency and transparency of international payments so the that, uh, that's all about mt103 swift for today i hope uh, you found the video insightful and informative understanding mt103 is essential for everyone involved in international payments or any financial system so thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our future videos until next time take care and happy banking